Hi, I'm Ray Solano from Solano Mobility and Accessibility. I've been in the whole medical equipment business for over 30 years, fixing medical equipment. I've got a tremendous amount of experience fixing all types of medical equipment. Today, I'm going to talk to you about some common stair lift repairs, a very common product in people's homes these days. I actually have over a thousand customers that I've either repaired or installed stair lifts. Okay, so first I'm going to talk to you about the common stair lift repairs. And one of the most common stair lift repairs is that the customers on the stair lift is unplugged. Um, we get to the customer's home and we go and they say it's not working and it's real simple. So we go over to the outlet and we check to make sure it's plugged in. Many times, like in this application, they have the stair lift plugged into an extension cord and then the extension cord goes up and around and it's plugged into an outlet here. Okay, let's show them the outlet here, right here. So I would just walk over to it and then I'd see it's unplugged and that would cure one of your problems. Just make sure the stair lift, the stair lift is plugged in. Now what we're going to talk about is when I showed you that outlet before, sometimes that outlet is connected to a switch. It's a light switch. And sometimes I go into the customer's house and my staff goes into the customer's house and we find that the light switch is turned off. In this case, the light switch is not connected to the outlet. So let's take a picture of this light switch here. So sometimes the light switch is connected to the outlet and then someone comes along and turns it off and now the stair lift doesn't have any power to it. Okay, I wanna show you the back of this machine. This machine, and almost, on almost all other machines, can you get a picture of that switch down there? Have a main breaker switch. Now that's really a servicing switch designed for the service technician to come in, turn it on and off. Okay, but let me tell you what happens. Many times the customer turns it off by accident. They turn that switch off by accident. It just happens, I don't know why. We've gone to people's homes many, many times. We walk over to it, we turn it on, and the stay off works. So look to make sure that that switch is turned on. All right, as a matter of fact, many people tell me, they say, I didn't even know there was a switch there. That's because the manufacturers put it in a place that you can't get to. So you don't see it, you don't even know it's there. Because previous, many, many, many years ago, the on and off switch was in a very uh, uh, easy place to find and people would turn them off and call the manufacturer and say, my stay off's not working. So they got so many calls from people that the stay off's not working and they would say to them, just turn it on. <laughs> so here, the manufacturers recently, I'm gonna say within the past 10 years, have put the on and off switch in a place that's hidden. Basically, the switch is hidden. Okay, so look for that switch. Make sure it's turned on. That's half the battle. Now, I'm going to talk to you about some other things to look at. This is an old timer stair lift. And there's a basement staircase. So I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the safety features. Almost all stair lifts work the same way. They take you from point A to point B. They have safety switches in the footrest. So if the footrest comes in contact with anyone, it'll stop. If the stair lift is going in one direction, let's say it's going up, but doesn't wanna go down. In this case, this one works fine. But let's say your stair lift goes up but doesn't want to go down. There's a high probability. Hey, I gotta hold it. There's a high probability that the on the downside of the footrest may be jammed. Can you get in there and see and show them that safety switch? There's a safety switch in there. And that that sometimes with dust and dirt will get stuck. So all you have to do to clear it. Let me show you what to do. You watch your fingers. 
You just push it in and out, push it in and out. And that should clear any dust or dirt that built up in the footrest switch. Okay? Now, there's another safety switch. It's in the seat. It's designed in this seat so that if this seat is swiveled, the stair lift will not work. I can't tell you many times, see how the stair will not, not, will not work because the seat's not in the correct position, right? So you can see the seat's not in the correct position. But sometimes the seat is in the correct position and it will not go up or down. Again, dust and dirt may have caused the seat safety switch in the back on this unit, ah, it's under here. Can you get to that, show them that? Now, sometimes I have to make an adjustment on this to get this thing to work right. So all I tell the customers a lot of times is just unlock and lock the seat a few times that should clear the problem. Okay? This is how, on this unit, you just pull the lever up. That unlocks it. So I would say unlock it and swivel it a few times. That should clear the seat safety switch. Okay? And in this one, this particular model, we have to sometimes make an adjustment on the seat safety switch. There's actually two screws in there. Very simple. But for you, all you really have to do is on most stair lifts, they all work the same way. They have seat safety switch, they have a footrest safety switch. Just try to clear any dust or dirt from it by activating it, swiveling it, you know, putting it, locking it, unlocking it. Do that a few times. That should cure the problem. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk to you about is maintenance. Maintenance is very important on your stair lift. This particular stair lift is a rack and pinion system. So you see how dusty and dirty it gets because it's a basement. It's a trough. It picks up a lot of dirt and dust. So what we would do in this application is we would use a degreaser, clean all this dust and dirt out, and then we would wipe it all down, get all the dust and dirt out. Then what we would do is we would put white lithium grease on the rack, on the teeth here. Now on some other stair lifts, they want you to use WD-40 or three-in-one oil. Um, I like the three-in-one oil. Like let's say you have a Super Glide, an Acorn Super Glide, or a Brooks, um, the Harmar Vantage uh, uses a uh, uh, lithium grease, white lithium grease. The Bruno model uses white lithium grease. You have to look at the, the uh, manufacturer's specifications and what the manufacturer recommends. But for the most part, um, it's usually white lithium grease or WD-40 slash 3-in-1 oil. <clears throat> the other thing I, I'm going to want you to maintain is charging contacts. Most stair lifts today are made are battery operated stair lifts. So they actually run off of batteries when they go up and down the staircase. The way they charge is they have a charging system. They have a battery charger. That's a type of battery charger right there. Then they have contacts on the rail. Can you take pictures of that up there, guys? They have contacts on the rail. See those little brass fittings there? Now we would clean those contacts once a month. We would clean them with something called Scotch-Brite. Scotch-Brite is like a pot scrubber, but it's gotta be dry. Just buy it, it's, a, it's like a, it's the rough part of a sponge. So just buy that at a grocery store. The inexpensive stuff works well. Make sure you use it dry. You clean those contacts on the rail, and you're also gonna clean the contacts on the carriage. Now, guys, Get the camera on this. This down here, I don't know, can you see those two like nipple, gold nipples? Those are the carriage contacts. So the carriage contacts, we're gonna clean also with Scotch-Brite. And really that's your maintenance schedule, to clean the rail, clean the unit, 
Use whatever is recommended by the manufacturer. In this case, this particular model recommends white lithium grease. Clean the contacts on the rail. Clean the contacts on the carriage, right? And that's really about it. Thank you. And by the way, uh, we service the New York metro area, New York metro, New Jersey, Connecticut area with, with service and repairs of stair lifts. If you live out of that area, you could call me anytime or go on my website. I will get back to you. Send me an email or call me if you need my assistance with anything. I love to talk to people on the phone. And if I could help you, I'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you.